Hello friends, welcome to Dhaka Levin Institute. Today I will discuss about transistor. Transistor is one of the very important parts of electronic boards. Nowadays, transistor is widely used in new technological ma machineries, especially in laptop motherboard, desktop motherboard, mobile and other technological machineries. Transistor is very famous for its workings. So today, I am going to discuss about transistor. Here we can see some of our transistors. Here is a normal transistor. This is used in power supply, SMPS and many other boards. And we can see also there is an SMD transistor. SMD means surface mounting device. This transistor is used in desktop motherboard, laptop motherboard, mobile motherboard and other PCB boards. Now I will discuss how many transistors are there and how a transistor works. There are two types of transistors. First is PNP transistor and second is NPN transistor and we can see here is a normal transistor and I will describe it in detail its left side pin is emitter and its middle pin is base and its right side pin is collector here we also can see an SMD transistor shape. It is a PNP transistor. I will describe it also in detail. We can see here its upper side pin is collector and lower left side pin is base and right side pin is emitter. It is same also for NPN transistor. Here you can see PNP transistor's internal structure. Its collector and emitter pins are P type both of them and base is N type. You can see also its diode position. Collector and emitter pins are joined in diodes anode side as their p type and its base position is in cathode side and it is n type if you want to make pnp transistor on you have to give negative voltage negative voltage means below 0.7 voltage below 0.7 voltage is called negative voltage here if you give below 0.7 voltage to base then emitter and collector will be joined and required voltage will pass from emitter to collector and for npn transistor internal structure its collector and emitter pins are N type of both of them and its base is P type. You can see also its diode position. Collector and emitter pins are joined in diodes cathode side as they are N type and its base and its base position is in anode side as it is P type. If you want to make NPN transistor on, then you have to ensure positive voltage to base. Positive voltage means above 0.7 voltage. If you give positive voltage to base, then this NPN transistor will be turned on. Now you will know how you, you will identify in a schematic diagram. 
now here you can see transistor symbols are here if arrow goes to inside of base then it is pnp transistor on the other hand if arrow goes outside from base then it is npn transistor now i will show how to test a transistor first take a multimeter and keep multimeters black proof in base and keep red proof in emitter and if it shows value and secondly change red proof from emitter to collector if collector also shows value then it is pnp transistor but if after keeping red proof in base and black proof in collector and emitter both of them one after another if shows value then it is npn transistor so we can say base is actually ensures is it pnp or npn transistor and in that testing process if the transistor keeps beeping then the transistor is bad or short or faulty that's all for today i hope i can make you understand thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and give like share and make comment and stay with me thank you very much